Benjamin Mendy has been offered a lifeline. The disgraced former Man City left back has joined French side Laurie on on a two-year deal. Last Friday, the 29-year-old was found not guilty of one woman and attempting to another. The verdict came after he was acquitted months earlier of six other counts of and one count of assault. Much to the surprise of the footballing community, Mindy has been offered an immediate route back into professional football. Reports from Foot Mercado had indicated that several sides, including Vincent Company's Burnley and Nottingham Forest, were interested in securing his services, but it appears that his agent's ties with Laurie on manager Reggie Labrie played an important role in his decision. Mindy played his last official game back on the 15th of August 2021 and has now subsequently starting training with his new side. He underwent some drills with one of the club's physios. Away from the prying eyes of the club's fans, Laurie on face game gomp in a preseason friendly on the 22nd of July, an occasion which could mark Benjamin Mendy's return to football. So how do you feel about Mendy's impending return? But let's move on to CR7 now. Earlier this week, Cristiano Ronaldo hit the headlines with some rather entrenched views on the quality of the MLS. The Portuguese star estimated that the Saudi Pro League was fair superior in quality to its American equivalent, and his comments haven't gone down well on the other side of the Atlantic. Responding to his declaration, former Philadelphia Union Union midfielder Michael Lahoud had this to say to CBS Sports, Ronaldo has been smoking way too much hookah. This is a ludicrous statement in terms of in one year for the Saudi Pro League to be better than those leagues. He then alluded to an obsession Ronaldo has been heeding for Lionel Messi, one that he thinks has been going on for years. This comes on the heels of Lionel Messi's unveiling. Just when Messi talks about bringing the world's game to the doorstep of North America at the 2026 World Cup, this is what we've seen from Cristiano Ronaldo. This is all about Messi and all about relevancy. In truth, it's hard to argue with his statement. Ronaldo's comments come in the wake of Messi's unveiling as an into Miami player but as a quasi-ambassador for the Saudi Pro League, Ronaldo is entitled to a bit of self-promotion. So, do you think CR7 has an obsession with Messi? With the MLS and Saudi Arabia making most of the headlines, you could be forgiven for thinking that football in Europe is almost extinct, but that's not quite the case. Over in Spain, Joao Felix is experiencing a turbulent time at Atletico Madrid, forced to train with the youth team. It seems the Portuguese international fails to fit into Diego Simeone's plans and he may have burned any remaining bridges with the club by declaring his love for domestic rivals Barcelona. Speaking on the allure of playing for the Blaugrana, this is what he had to say. I would love to play for Barca. Barcelona have always been my first choice and I'd love to join them. It's always been my dream since I was a kid. If it happens, it would be a dream come true. And according to reports, Barcelona are interested in acquiring his services. The Catalan club are even willing to engage in a swap deal, sending both Frank Kessie and Ferran Torres in the opposite direction. Barca are willing to sanction a sale for both stars, with the club needing to raise 60 million euros in funds by the 31st of August. Any exchange could benefit both sides as Barcelona are still desperately searching to trim their wage bill. As for Joao Felix, he's also been linked with a move to PSG, but it seems the path leading to Barcelona looks more likely. So where do you think Joao Felix will be playing his football next season?